Today, student inventors from throughout Connecticut are arriving at the University of Connecticut to be hosted by its School of Engineering for the Connecticut Invention Convention, a year-long STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math program, which culminates with the finals at the University of Connecticut. And it is here that these young inventors will show how they have dreamed up amazing solutions to their problems through research, inquiry, trial and error, and prototyping. During the weeks and months leading up to this event, thousands of young inventors in Connecticut schools have been brainstorming and refining product ideas with their teachers, applying critical thinking skills to everyday dilemmas. Invention Convention is one of the activities I do that really is good for all students. You never know which child's going to come up with that idea. In fact, I do it as a whole class in Richmond. I teach the whole fourth grade. I do tell the students it is science, and sometimes they'll look at me strangely and I'll say it is, because you have a hypothesis that you're going to try out with different solutions. So it really does have the steps of a science experiment to see if your invention's actually going to work. And Invention Convention themselves have in their curriculum packet, they tie it into the STEM education, the science technology. Um, so we consider ourselves a STEM education activity. This makes me very proud. One of our high school students, who's the valedictorian, actually started her college essay by saying it all started with invention convention. When she was, and we used to do it then even as young as third grade, and it was the first time that she, as a third grader, had to express herself to adults. And so it was a unique experience that stayed with her. Now the finalists from these local invention competitions can't wait to participate in a day-long celebration and recognition of their ingenuity, inventiveness, and creative thinking. It's basically a generator that gets power off of access water from basically anywhere. So basically the water turns the wheel and it turns an electric flashlight generator which powers an LED. I made this invention because I was thinking about how global warming was going to cause a catastrophe in the near future probably, and some places can't get enough electricity. And there was a bunch of water in the gutters and in the rainwater collecting systems on the house that was being unused, so I made an invention that could harness that power. Oh, it's my invention for the... What, what's it called? The Creeper Sweeper. I have the solar-powered desk lamp. The Living Lure. It's like an invention for iPads or Kindles or tablets. Activity built. What's the name of it? The Remember Me Lunchbox. Let's see it. Fun in one backpack. Mm -hmm. Kids always want to bring toys with them, so they can bring a backpack that already has toys with, in it. Three, two, one. Over the last 30 years, Connecticut Invention Convention has worked with more than 300,000 kids, inspiring them to become inventors, innovators, and entrepreneurs. The Connecticut Invention Convention is the longest operating program of its kind in the nation, engaging children to be hands-on with science, technology, and engineering at an age when their enthusiasm will still carry forward into high school, college, and into STEM careers. As a sixth grader, I came here and um, I was hoping to uh, go to the, like just have my invention sit there and see what the judges thought of it. Turned up happening is I, uh, I ended up being a uh, rep. well I won the, uh, the Connecticut Light and Power Award. Jump started me to uh, think of more uh, renewable energy uh, concepts. We had noticed that where we were in Rhode Island, our son was already like, taking on, um, Ethan was already taking a strong interest in science. And in general, what was offered to him in middle school science in Rhode Island wasn't enough. And when we um, moved to Connecticut, they told us, they told Ethan about this invention convention and that everybody was required to participate. And he came home very excited, like, I am so glad we moved here. I am so glad we moved back. I get to do this invention convention. I can finally, he's pouring through his invention notebooks couldn't wait to start building some, one of them. Finally, he had an, a reason to work on something beyond um, the rudit rudimentary memori memorization that you have in science. The judging circles are the seminal moment for the young inventors to gain valuable insight from judges and peers to be recognized for their efforts and ideas. So keep using your imagination. 
questions and be really, really you know, confident in your abilities to innovate and, and don't be afraid to reach out to others for help and get the support and the guidance that you might need, okay? Don't try to always have to, you don't always have to figure stuff out on your own. Part of it is knowing, is being able to surround yourself with people just as smart or sometimes even smarter than you. But you guys are those people, okay? And that you made it here today, I mean, I'm proud just to be part of this and I mean, I'm just blown away by all the stuff that you did. So thank you for all the hard work and all the brain power and all the long and all the long hours you put into these great inventions because there is some really, really cool stuff here today. In eighth grade I went to the convention and I saw that there was actually things that I'm good at and I'm interested in and it it just like showed me what I can really do. I walked in there, I saw all these ideas, kids thinking exactly the same way I do, and it just showed me that I can, there's something out there, there's places for me to go. I, my inspiration was actually my biggest fear. I invented a device that involves water safety, falling through ice, and I am terrified of falling through ice, so I thought of, you know, pulleys and mechanisms that would solve that problem. I actually, I did uh, win a free patent research for my, for my award, um, I mean, for the, my invention, and that was really just a cherry on top, but the, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> we got here and we saw the magnitude and the energy in the room and it was just extraordinary. I said, we're not leaving. I texted my husband and said, we're staying here. This is crazy cool. And she set up her little booth and walked around and talked to other kids that were just like her and felt like she found her home. And one of the judges said to her, you don't like talking to people, do you, Zoe? You don't like talking to people one-on-one. -on -one. And she says, no. He says, you like to stay in your room and just solve problems and take things apart. And uh, she's like, yes, yes, I do. He goes, you keep doing that. You keep doing that because uh, your mind works differently than other people, and um, you're going to make a really big difference in the world. And I get all emotional talking about it. And now she's looking at engineering schools. She's taken this ball that started here at the Invention Convention and ran with it. The Connecticut Invention Convention is working with the State Department of Education to talk about ways that we can expand the whole focus on STEM to include innovation and entrepreneurship, so STEMI of sorts, so that you're taking not just a focus on learning science and technology topics, but applying it into innovative types of solutions and then commercializing it through entrepreneurship, which completes the whole life cycle of what we're really trying to do here in America of trying to create new things and create our, our next generation of greatness for the country. More than half of the kids that take part in the Connecticut Invention Convention are girls. 52% of this year's participants uh, are girls. And what you find is that on a regular basis, Connecticut Invention Convention is one of the very few programs that consistently delivers across different educational boundaries, across sex boundaries, across different uh, uh, income boundaries. And so it's one of these really pan goodness types of programs that is able to bring lots of knowledge and focus on core problem solving principles. As the Connecticut Invention Convention enters its 30th year, we have attracted major funders who understand the need to invest in tomorrow by supporting and encouraging young inventors, innovators, and entrepreneurs today. Join us. With your help, we can reach our goal of having every child in every school become an inventor. We urge you to contact us today so that together we can support the dreams of our next generation of thinkers and doers. A uh, round of applause for these great inventors.